nuclear nuclear fusion energy. Why does it seem yeah. why, like it's so far away from us that, uh, w- w- that, that we were sort of promised this in 20 years, 20 years yeah. ago? Because it's remarkably difficult to control. I mean, it's, it's, I mean the process of fusion is, is difficult to, to achieve and difficult to control. That's pretty much done. But the other side is containing and containing for long enough and making um, a sustainable plant which will last for, for decades rather than hours. That, that's the, it's the materials and the engineering is really the hardest thing with fusion. The physics is done. With the physics being done, does this mean that yeah. it is not really in the role of science fiction, that this, this could be something that comes on stream in the UK, okay. that this yeah. could be a big, big... In the long term, yeah. yeah. In the long term. It's, it's, there's a long way to go yet. I mean, to, to, to make a fusion plant... To be economically competitive, there's a lot of engineering to be done, there's a lot of material science to be done. The pathway we went through with nuclear fission, we've now got to go through with fusion. So uh, it's not going to be tomorrow, it's not going to be next year, it's going to be maybe a decade or two before we have large amounts of fusion energy. But we are much closer to it now than we were, let's say, 20 or 30 years ago. It is coming closer. Now, as I understand it, the problem with fusion energy is it's just so very hot that nothing can really contain it. It has to be floating in some sort of uh, magnetic plasma beam. I've probably described that in a really no, no, terrible way. Off. Could you're, you explain some of the physics there? using the plasma to hold the fusion, and that creates very high temperatures, um, you know, higher than any, any metallic structure can sustain, so you've got to keep the metal away from the, 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 the fusion using your, your, your magnets. And again, th- th- that's one of the biggest advances of the past few, few years has been the control of that process. But even then, uh, we still have to, to sort out the problems of breeding the fuel. We have to sort out the problems of having sustainable, you know, long lifetimes for structural components. And that's where the engineering is at now. You know, that's where the serious investments are being made in developing the engineering and the materials to make the plant function at scale. Do, does this technology need more investment? Is one of the reasons why we sort of have been not really advancing as fast as perhaps we'd like to in this area for the last few decades because it frankly hasn't had that much funding yeah it is it's, i mean one can always move technology forward with funding and it's really exciting to see the investments going in the past few years uh, and you know uh, both at the small scale and the large scale in fusion that's what's really pushing it forward yeah you, you will not produce fusion power fusion energy without putting substantial investment in for a long period of time it's not going to come quickly Well, it is a fascinating, fascinating area. And James Murray, thank you so much for talking through some of the the basics there for us. I know you've got to go off and teach uh, a lecture and try try and uh, mould those minds who are going to create that nuclear fusion that's going to save us all in the decades to come.